And this is Yanto Jones. Yanto cleans up after us and gets us everywhere on time. I try my best. And he looks good in a suit. Careful. That's harassment, sir. Who's for Chinese? Yeah. Until he started leaving black piles of mucus in the bathtub. <laughs> you don't know anything? Not who he is, not where he's from. Nothing. Except him being gay. No, he's not. Really, do you think? No. Owen does. I don't. And I don't care. Period military is... Need me to do any attacking, sir? This kid, Bernie. Where does he live? Splot. Splot. I believe estate agents pronounce it splow. Can you make it two pepperoni feasts tonight? And a tub of coleslaw. My boss says I'm not eating the vegetables. I promised, didn't I? Would you always keep your promises? You know, we never gave it a cool name. I thought we called it the Resurrection Gauntlet. Cool name. What about the Risen Mitten? I think it's catchy. If Yanto has stopped watching, he's happy. It's the button on the top. What do you think? The answer? Life knife. If you're interested, I've still got a stopwatch. So? Well, think about it. Lots of things you can do with a stopwatch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can think of a few. There's quite a list. I'll send the others home early. See you in my office in ten. That's ten minutes. And counting. How did it do that? It's automatic. It knows you're there. But how? There are wave bouncing detectors which emit high frequency radio waves and then look for reflections. Bananas! Of course, bananas are far more interesting. 12 pounds 10. You'll ruin your teeth. <laughs> you sound like my mum. Good God. Welcome to the wonderful world of scantily dressed celebrities. There's children around. She's a children's TV presenter. Asking me out on a date? Interested? Well, as long as it's not in an office, some fetishes should be kept to yourself. Remember what happened last time you used it? That was different. And that species has extremely high blood pressure. All right, their heads must explode all the time. Take it easy, Jack. Stop at the first sign of trouble. Or the first sign of exploding. <laughs> The entire telephone network is down. Mobiles, landlines, tin cans with bits of string, everything, absolutely everything. No phones, phones all broken. Hello? Anyone there? No, if the phones aren't working. What's the Have a little faith with a dashing hero like me on the case. How can we fail? He is dashing. You have to give him that. Let's all have sex. And I thought the end of the world couldn't get any worse. We could feed the world. We could release a single. Uh, I haven't quite got the calibration right yet. <laughs> Jack. Cool. So, Jack asked me if I could get you a unit cap to wear. Did he? Well, red is my colour. So, am I right in thinking that you and he... We... dabble. Yeah? Yeah. So, what's his dabbling like? Innovative. Really? Bordering on the avant-garde. Wow. Oh, yeah. Huh. So, should we get your cover story sorted?
I have searched for the phrase, I shall walk the earth and my hunger will know no bound, but I keep getting redirected to Weight Watchers. Jack? Gwen? Anyone? <laughs> Voila. Fresh and strong. Mm. Mm. I always loved him, Tim. Yeah, well, you would. And he never had a girlfriend, did he? Just the dog. Yeah, so I reckon he was actually shagging the dog. Okay, so. meanwhile, back at. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for a wedding dress for a friend. Oh, of course you are, sir. You'd be surprised. We're quite used to men buying for their friends. He's got a point. What is it with you? Ever since Owen died, all you ever do is agree with him. I was brought up never to speak of the dead, even if they still do most of the talking for themselves. That's what I love about Torchwoods. By day, chasing the scum of the universe. Come midnight, you're the wedding fairy. It's more than just a cinema. It's the Electro. Oh, wow! You recognize any of your long-lost relatives, Gwen? There's Auntie Peggy, she's been on the gin again. <laughs> Can you be quiet? <laughs>1965 it was a state-run orphanage and they had a Clement McDonald. He was taken into care April 1965 after his mother died. No father on record. In November 1965 he was transferred along with... Oh. Congratulations. Would never be a good time to tell you I lost the car. He did what? I felt it. Shit. Reese? Do you want to take the car and go to those shops uh, down by the wharf? We need some discs for these things. Should take about 20 minutes. 30 minutes. 30. I'll, I'll go late to them. The beans are almost done. The beans are almost done. Bloody beans. And who's the queer? Oi! It's not 1965 anymore. <laughs> 